Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and Wonder Twins, issue number four. This is a good comic book. Um, it was a little weird. <laughs> um, they have an interesting way of, of tackling situations and doing stories in this book. Every single issue feels like a, uh, an after-school special. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the exact model that is designed for this comic book. I, I'm expecting that issue five is going to have something like, you know, make sure you eat your vegetables, you know, chomp, 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 brush your chompers, chomp, 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 really chew, 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 chew some good hard food. I, I don't know. I'm old. I remember that commercial. Obviously only a little bit though. Anyway, I'm glad this comic book cover is a lie because they do both go on dates. Um, Jaina and Zen, they both go on a date. Uh, she does go on a date with this knucklehead. But um, he's not trying to stop the date. So th that's cool. Like, I, that would have been annoying, just seeing him being a total butt face like that. Anyway, so this is the Wonder Twins in A Date Which Will Live in Infamy, or two. Uh, writer Mark Russell, artist and cover artist Stephen Byrne. Variant cover done by Raphael Albuquerque and letters Dave Sharp. Okay. Um, basically, Jan goes on a date with um, this girl who's like, you know, hey, uh, I'm going to like, you know trying to date you to get over my ex-boyfriend and Zena, she's going to go on a date with this guy who turns out to be a freaking supervillain in the very team which is trying to destroy them <laughs> little do they know uh dude's name is red flag uh, yeah that's that's like the perfect name for this butt face <laughs> um the coolest part of this book to me was uh, Philomath, uh, his situation, especially with his daughter. We get to find out Philomath's origin story, you know, why he joined the team and all that stuff, uh, more details of it. More specifically, we get to find out that, um, or, or not find out, we get to see his daughter walking home from school. And on the way home, she's thinking about a cure for testicular cancer. Tell me how she's just about to cure testicular cancer. One of the two things that men are terrified of, the other being prostate cancer, uh, things that we have that women don't have. She's just on the cusp of curing it when all of a sudden she forgets everything, loses her train of thought because two knuckleheads are catcalling her. How perfectly messed up is that? <laughs> This is a fun-as-hell comic book that, again, is just written in the theme of an after-school special. Um, I love it. <laughs> I love it. I, despite it all, man, as much as I look at this like, dude, really? We're, we're, we're being told about friend zones and, and how they're actually a good thing? <laughs> I guess. Um, I imagine that maybe this could help some people to realize that some things aren't such a bad thing, but whatever. Um, like I said, for me, I'm just enjoying a good comic book. I love, love Zan's, um, happy-go-lucky nature in this. It's great. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm just gonna let you read the book, because it's worth it. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.